Did you catch this TED talk? Our estimate is that approximately 300 terawatt hours of battery storage is needed to transition uh, transport, uh, electricity, and, and heating and cooling uh, to a fully electric situation. In fact, it's hard to gauge how much energy we spend in an hour. But if we had to think about it, one guess would be that it would take about 50 years or so to produce this amount of energy. So storage solutions should be prioritized for this urgent problem. And after careful consideration, Musk came up with the types of cathodes he expected should be used for this purpose. He says the main cathode will probably be manganese because this material can scale to very high tonnage. Thus, Musk and scientists have developed and tested a new manganese-based hybrid battery that can travel up to 1,000 kilometers on a single charge and achieve lower cost reserves. How can such a battery exist? And how superior is it to existing batteries on the market? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to the channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Goshen High Tech, which is Chinese owned and US based, is one of the world's top EV battery manufacturers and they have announced that they have a breakthrough in the form of a lithium iron manganese phosphate battery, which is production ready and they say the unit can deliver a driving range of up to a thousand kilometers from a single charge. Until now, only the more expensive nickel cobalt batteries have provided that kind of range. But on the other hand, the LMFP battery, which is also named the Astroino L600 LMFP battery, is providing cheaper, smaller, and even more powerful battery packs for electric vehicles by building upon the LFP chemical formula, which is familiar to batteries already already in use by some electrical manufacturers, including BYD and Tesla. This company has seemingly solved the challenges of manganese dissolution at high temperatures, low conductivity, and low compaction density typically associated with the formula by using a combination of co-precipitation doping encapsulation, new granulation technology, and new electrolyte additives. So then, how can an LMFP battery provide a thousand kilometers on a single charge. It's due to the high energy density of the Astroino battery that we can enable a range of a thousand kilometers without relying on NCM materials. Cheng Chan, executive president of the International Business Unit of Goshen High Tech. Our Astro Inno L600 LMFP battery cell, which has passed all safety tests, has a weight energy density of 240 watt hours per kilogram, a volume energy density of 525 watt hours per liter, a cycle of 4,000 times at room temperature, and a cycle life of 1,800 times at high temperatures. In recent years, electric vehicles are becoming very popular as well, and they use primarily blade batteries utilizing lithium iron phosphate technology, and these types of batteries only hit a ceiling of energy density at 190 watts per kilogram. But adding manganese to the mix enables greater weight energy density within LFP batteries, which can reach to 240 watt hours per kilogram, which is a hunt which is 1.26 times higher than regular LFP batteries. It can then be said that it's quite an upgrade or a leap for energy density. The 1,000 kilometers or 621 miles of range quoted by Goshen would be a huge increase in terms of what is currently available on the market. Volkswagen's new electric ID7 upper medium car, for example, will have a range of up to 438 miles, which is nearly 1.42 times shorter than this LMFP battery. If we consider the current battery market for electric vehicles, this battery's single charge range has also nearly reached records set by customized electric prototypes, such as an electric concept car from Mercedes. The Vision EQXX, which broke its efficiency record of 1,202 kilometers, which is equivalent to 746 miles in a road trip from Stuttgart in Germany to Silverstone in the United Kingdom on a single charge of battery on the 22nd of June of 2022. An EV that has this LMFP battery just needs more than 200 kilometers more to break that number 
number, which is said to be a record in this electric vehicle battery industry. Additionally, in terms of energy density, 240 watt hours per kilogram means it can store more energy in every battery cell and also minimizes the weight, which in doing so makes the battery pack smaller. This dual benefit will significantly improve the range of any vehicle that implements this type of battery. In recent years, LFP technology has regained the recognition of the market, with market share continuing to increase, explained Dr. Cheng Chan. Meanwhile, the energy density growth of mass-produced LFP batteries has encountered bottlenecks and further improvement requires an upgrade of the chemical system, so LFP batteries doped with manganese were developed. But on the other hand, the cycle life of a 4680 battery at high temperatures is around a thousand cycles depending on the charging method. It concluded that the LMFP battery is 1.8 times more efficient in terms of cycle life compared to the 4680 battery. And up until now, the 4680 batteries were considered ternary lithium batteries, with a shorter cycle life because they are now only utilized in electric vehicles. This breakthrough of this new type of battery gives potential to a lifetime of range that far exceeds the average lifespan of an electric vehicle. But is Tesla planning to use LMFP batteries? A significant publicly traded US auto company and Goshen High Tech have struck a supply and localization deal for the latter to receive 200 gigawatt hours of lithium iron phosphate batteries from the former between 2023 and 2028. According to the China Automotive Battery Innovation Alliance, Goshen is presently the fourth largest battery manufacturer in China, with a 55% market share, with CATL leading the pack, followed by BYD with 16.6% and CALB coming in third with 5.2%. However, Goshen has not disclosed the identity of its U.S. client, only that it is a sizable and publicly traded U.S. automaker with a sizable market valuation and a prominent position among the world's automakers. They further stated that Goshen had maintained a long-standing and positive cooperative relationship with the company and that it had an excellent credit rating and good performance capabilities. This mysterious automaker is allegedly Tesla. While a large US automaker may be just one among several, the majority of automakers are now making significant progress with their electric car plans. Technically, it could be any US automaker, but Tesla certainly fits the bill. Additionally, since there is currently no US manufacturer of iron phosphate battery cells, Tesla faces a challenge in switching all of its standard range vehicles to the battery chemistry globally, as it just announced. The fact of the matter is, they mentioned a large listed automobile company in the US, and there's no larger listed automaker in the US than Tesla. In fact, you may be aware that some of Tesla's vehicles employ LFP batteries. To be more precise, the car maker has only lately begun utilizing the chemical in its standard range vehicles in the US. This statement from Goshen was shared by sources as expansion and localization of production lines, US Guo Xuan agreed to allocate the company's existing or new domestic to build production capacity and build new production capacity in the United States to meet the customer's battery procurement needs. This agreement also mentions using the cells in electric cars and other applications, which could mean stationary energy storage products like Tesla Powerwalls, Power Packs, and Mega Packs. But the biggest tell of all might be the actual volume involved in the deal. 200 gigawatt hours of LFP cells between 2023 and 2028 is a lot. Considering LFP cells are used for smaller and shorter range vehicles, the deal could support the production of over half a million electric cars per year. As we know, Tesla has been open about its shift to LFP cells and is the only automaker that would need that many LFP cells in the US based on their production goals. All of the evidence proves that Tesla could be behind the deal. Another and more crucial factor is that Tesla's officials announced they will test this new battery. Tesla will use batteries named M3P with LMFP cathodes in the fourth quarter for the production of the Model Y with a 72 kilowatt hour battery. However, all batteries in this shipment come from CATL. After receiving these batteries, Tesla will carry out tests and will be able to start using them for EV production within just three months after receiving them. Thus, the start of production with new batteries will begin in 2023. After Tesla tries 
dried them out for three months, the report also indicated that the lithium manganese phosphate batteries used in the batteries will be supplied from Shenzhen City, which plans to start production of 110,000 tons of LMFP material in the second quarter of this year. Additionally, at the end of July, CATL chief scientist Wu Kai said that the M3P battery will already be in mass production and will be used this year. This catalyzed battery is based on the new material that has higher energy density than LFP batteries and a lower cost than normal lithium batteries. Several months ago, Tesla reported that CATL was already testing the M3P batteries and had sent some of them to car manufacturers for testing. And now we are getting information that Tesla will soon receive them and use them in the production of the Model Y in 2023. The company announced that it will commence mass production of the production unit in early 2024. But by how much is the LMFP battery cheaper than other batteries that are available on the market? The key reason these batteries are going to be cheaper than lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are available today, is because of the addition of manganese. It allows these companies to put less lithium into the pack. That's the biggest advantage here, because lithium is the most expensive component of the battery pack. Refined battery grade lithium is quite expensive even though the price has come down drastically this year. For instance, the prices for hydroxide grade lithium averaged $75,000 per ton. However, at the end of 2022, it was at $81,500. Meanwhile, lithium carbonate prices in China receded to 475,500 Chinese yuan per ton, which is equivalent to around $71,000 earlier this year. It was once at a record high of 500,000 yuan or a little less than 75,000 US dollars in late 2022. However, the prices of lithium carbonate and lithium hydroxide, which are raw materials for making electric vehicle batteries, are still high from the prices in previous years. With that trend, putting manganese into the battery to use less lithium is needed because that's one of the reasons that LFP batteries are more expensive than they already are. The amount of lithium needed for LFP batteries is higher than what is needed in an LMFP battery chemistry. Additionally, the agency pointed out that due to the abundance of manganese ore resources in the world, the cost of LMFP batteries will be lower than that of LFP batteries with regard to the installation cost of batteries. The company expects that its LMFP batteries will cost 5% less than conventional LFP batteries, which means a cost of around 114 US dollars per kilowatt hour, due to most LFP batteries costing 120 dollars per kilowatt hour. Moreover, the lithium ion battery in an electric vehicle is the most expensive, typically costing up to $19,200, which would be as much as 16.84% more expensive than the LMFP battery. But what about the charging time of the LMFP battery? Is it optimized? Dr. Cheng confirmed that you can have a cup of coffee and rest at the charging station and the battery will be charged from 10 to 80% within 18 minutes using the step charging. The main reason is that the LMFP cathode materials have attracted worldwide attention due to their good electrochemical 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 performance and high operating voltage of up to 4.1 volts, which is 1.2 times higher than that of the LFP voltage platform, which is only at 3.4 volts. Furthermore, Goshen High Tech has made significant advances in the design of the battery pack itself. Thanks to this innovative design, the company has reduced the weight by 32%, which is almost a third, and reduced the length of wiring used within the pack from 303 meters to just 80. The volumetric cell to pack ratio Cell to pack ratio has reached 76%, outperforming other batteries currently on the market. 
The company also made other breakthroughs with the battery's design, which reduced the number of structural parts by 45%. But more importantly, how safe is the LMFP battery? Goshen High Tech claims that their LMFP battery has passed all penetration, hotbox, overcharge, overdischarge, thermal runaway, crush, and short circuit tests based on the latest standards. The test was completed without any fire or malfunction. The battery pack uses thermal insulation materials that can withstand temperatures of up to 1200 degrees centigrade, which is 20 times higher than LFP batteries. It can typically operate within a temperature range of up to 60 degrees centigrade. The battery also provides four layers of rapid heat exhausting channels around the corners of the battery to help dissipate heat, to help dissipate heat and cool the battery much faster. During operation, it is inevitable to produce heat that affects the operating capacity and life of the battery. Intrinsic safety is also the main advantage of the LMFP battery pack. The thermal decomposition temperature of manganese, the materials it used, is much higher than that of ternary materials such as cobalt, nickel, or aluminum, which makes the batteries intrinsically safer. What's the background of LMFP batteries at Goshen High Tech? Goshen is a leading company in the field of power lithium batteries, aiming to make green energy more accessible and sustainable. It has developed two types of batteries, NCM and LFP, which are both widely used in energy storage systems due to their high efficiency, safety, and cost. However, to further improve the energy density, Goshen has also invented a new type of battery, the LMFP, which stands for lithium iron manganese phosphate. LMFP is a novel battery material that Goshen High Tech has been researching and developing for over 10 years. It uses advanced technologies such as co-precipitation doping, encapsulation, granulation, and electrolyte additives to overcome the challenges of LMFP batteries such as low conductivity, low compaction density, and manganese dissolution at high temperatures. These challenges used to limit the performance and application of LMFP batteries in electric vehicles. Now, Goshen High Tech has successfully solved these problems and achieved the commercialization of the LMFP battery. The company is planning to build a $2.3 billion battery factory in northern Michigan, which will create about 2,300 jobs and boost the local economy. The factory will produce LMFP batteries for electric vehicles and other applications, demonstrating Goshen High Tech's commitment to innovation and sustainability. So how much will LMFP grow and operate? occupy in the market between 2022 and 2030. LMFP batteries are a new trend in the power battery industry. They are an improved version of LFP batteries that have many advantages. Many companies in the automotive, battery, and cathode material sectors are investing in this field. The LMFP market is expected to grow significantly from 2022 to 2030. The market is stable in 2021, but it will increase as more players adopt new strategies. By 2040, LMFP batteries could have a 6% market share, surpassing other alternatives like sodium ion batteries. Some of the major global players in the LMFP market are Lithium Australia NL, Nanoloy BV, Shenzhen Dynanonic Co. Limited, Beijing eSpring Material Technology Co. Limited, Contemporary Amperex Technology Co. Limited, XTC New Energy Materials or Xiamen Co. Limited, Guangdong Guanshua SciTech Co. Limited, Lithitech and BYD Company Limited. The last three companies I named had about a percent of the revenue in 2021. The demand for LMFP batteries is growing because of their application applications in electric motorcycles, electric cars, and energy storage. The LMFP market has different product types based on the synthesis methods, such as high temperature reaction method, hydrothermal synthesis, and co-precipitation method. The most popular type in 2022 was the high temperature reaction method. The regions that dominate the LMFP market are North America, especially the United States, Canada, and Mexico. Europe is also a strong market with countries like Germany, the UK, France, Italy, Russia, and Turkey. Asia and Pacific is another another important market for LMFP batteries. This video has explored the features and benefits of this innovative battery. 
We would love to hear your feedback about your thoughts on it. We hope you liked the video and found it useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more Tesla Car World content. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. We appreciate your support and your time. See you in the next one. Until then, have a great day and stay safe.